Hello everybody, thank you so much for pressing play on my video today. My name is Charlene from stampwithshaw.com and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in the US. It's Monday, which means it's Casing the Catalog Monday and I am so excited you could join us today. My inspiration I found on page 118 and it's this one right here. Couple things I did a little different but still, it's a great way to use up some of that DSP that you have. I didn't want to cover the DSP too much because I love it. It's so pretty. So I'm going to show you how we do today's card. My card base today I have in petal pink. The stamp set that I'm using today is the Floral Essence. And it does come with a coordinating punch. And if you bundle these together, you save 10%. For my greeting today, I'm using the stitched all around. And I'm also using the framelits to cut out a couple pieces on my card. I also used a two inch circle as well as one and a quarter inch circle. My pieces today, I have a piece of very vanilla, and this is for the inside of the card. This measures four by five and a quarter. I have a piece of Blackberry Bliss that I punched out with the two inch circle. The stitched shape, stitched label framelits, I die cut a petal pink piece. And then this was the one and a quarter inch circle. My, my designer series paper, I'm using the Perennial Essence Gorgeous Hand Painted Designer Series Paper, you guys. It is beautiful. I have four pieces, and these measure three quarters of an inch by five. All we are going to do, we're going to fold our card base in half. use my multi-purpose liquid glue to adhere my strips and the reason I'm doing that is because it's going to give me a few minutes to wiggle it around now I'm not pressing that down I just set it on my cardstock And then once I'm happy with where it is, and I've moved my paper all around, I can then go and just give it a nice good press. And I'm happy with that. <laughs> There's a little dot here, I don't know where that came from. But we are now going to, I am going to use my pick me up tool I just want to get all these little pieces out. I'm now going to attach this to my Blackberry Bliss. I have the word friend and my ink today, I have Blackberry Bliss and Petal Pink. Just going to stamp friend. Now I'm actually going to flip that over because there's a little... Mark.
I have a piece of scrap very vanilla and I'm going to use that to stamp my flower and hmm we do purple flowers so I'm going to stamp and then stamp again without re-inking and that's going to give me two different colors I'm going to come with the coordinating punch and punch these out. I'm now going to layer these together. And we're going to stick one dark one on top. And then we're going to stick a light one on top. Now we can attach this to our card. On this card here, I use some silver and we are... going to do that as well. What I found, I took some snail and just put some snail behind here like this. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to And now I'm going to stick a dimensional behind this. Oops. We're going to fluff up those petals. Add one there. One there. Super cute. I've got some silver faceted gems. So pretty. I love it. And for the inside, we are going to stamp Enjoy your special day. And a flower. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please join me back here on Wednesday. I hope to see you then. Take care.